Hey, I'm Rodney Yee. And I'm Colleen Saitman. And if you don't have the time to get into these crazy yoga poses, we have some yoga solutions for you. If they could bottle that pose, it would be better than any <laughs> Valium that I've taken. If you're at work and you're anxious, you're tired, even constipated, we have solutions for you, yoga solutions. Come join us. Restorative yoga, an easy way to relax your body and to calm your mind. Incredible results, and you can do it in your office. Welcome to Be Well Week. Restorative yoga, it's a way to heal yourself physically and emotionally. If you're tired, it can energize you. If you're depressed, it can lift you up. If you're stressed out, it can calm you down. It can help with digestive problems. It can help boost your immune system. The beauty of restorative yoga is it can help you with the simple things that happen to you in your office. It's something so easy and something everyone can do. What is restorative yoga? Everyone knows about yoga, but they don't know about restorative yoga, and they should. They absolutely should. Well, restorative yoga is um, postures that you can prop up and you can do anytime, anywhere. And it puts the body actually in an optimal healing environment so that the breath moves easily throughout the body. Um, but it quiets the nervous system in a way that a regular yoga practice doesn't. And one of the beautiful things about it is it doesn't matter how flexible you are. It doesn't really even matter how strong you are. It doesn't matter if you're sick, you're healthy, you're young, or you're old. Everybody can do this kind of yoga. In fact, Frank, we're doing this in the hospitals also, pre and post surgery. People who can barely move, we're propping them up in poses that really help circulation, respiration, and digestion. So know that the health benefits of these supported poses are immense. I mean, I had back surgery, actually. I was a jock. Like, I ran, I boxed, I played basketball, you name it. And I ended up, from all of that sudden impact, having to have back surgery. And after that, all I've done is yoga, and I have not had an ounce of problem with my lower back. So from problems like indigestion, from stomach aches, from period problems, from anxiety, Constipation. from pain, Huge from ones. insomnia, these are the poses that have the greatest effect. Right, and when you're exhausted, there's oh. nothing like a good restorative pose opens up your chest. Without restorative yoga, I don't know how anybody survives. I mean, it's so important to recharge the batteries. Otherwise, what use are we if we're always exhausted? You know that feeling where you're sort of wired and frazzled but tired at the same time? I, I know I go there a lot. Um, a restorative forward bend is great, and you don't even have to tell your coworkers you're doing it necessarily. <laughs> so, Frank, scoot yourself closer to your desk. And all he's going to do is he's going to fold forward. You know, it might be kind of nice to have something soft for your forehead, but it, you don't have to. And he's just going to put his forehead on the blanket drape his arms, let the muscles of the back release, and he's in heaven. His exhalation is increased here, which diminishes anxiety. If Frank sits on the edge of his chair, and then they both spread their knees a little wider than hips distance apart and have the feet slightly turned out, and then from there on the exhalation, spill forward. Colleen's gonna almost maybe put her elbows on the ground, and Frank is just going to put the hands on the ground is it okay to moan here? <laughs> Just letting go of the weight of the head is such this a relief. This unbinding of the neck muscles from the weight of the head, but also this position of the legs is opening the hip, which is good for digestion again, but it's also good for releasing all the tension, the strife that we carry in the pelvis and the hip joint. This is incredible for getting maximum relaxation in a short period of time. Balanced, quiet, Restored. Wow. Feel good? Feel we fantastic. We have one more. This is, for me, the creme de la creme. Okay, lay down on your back, and you're gonna put your calves on the chair. I'm even gonna add some more weight. You can use your laptop, you can use your books, you can use whatever you have there to put a little bit extra weight on the calves to create more grounding and more release. We're gonna just lift the head a little bit. Also, you wanna make sure the angle of the chair is just right. I'm gonna make them a little bit uncomfortable for a second so you can see the difference. If it's 90 degrees, it's, it's not as, as comfortable. It's too direct of an angle there, and it's not great for his lower back. So I'm pulling the chair out. His back feels amazing. 
At this point, Frank is a very happy man. And he's going to go out in the world and make everybody he meets a happier person. This feels great. I don't want to get up. <laughs> don't wait for the weekend. It's the week. You can still do some restorative yoga in your office. All you need is a chair and a desk. Don't be scared of doing restorative yoga. Anyone can do it. If you're really stiff, it'll actually help you just as much as if you're very limber. Shut your office door, sit at your desk, and breathe. The more you can get into the breath, the more you get out of your head. The more you get out of your head, the more you will relax. Remember to breathe. At the end of the day, instead of having that martini, just do some restorative yoga. You'll feel much better than a martini. I'm Dr. Frank Lipman, helping you be well today and every day. Allergy medicine causes dryness. It does. And it causes dryness throughout the body, including vagina. vagina. Lube. lube. It's the solution to so many things. So Love your lube. Love your lube. Are you serious? I'm sitting here with David Sally and Cause, and this is Artist Talk. Have you ever gotten into any legal problems? Nothing that wasn't controllable. You know, there's that fine line between um, creativity and just mania. I think if I wasn't a writer, I would be a neurotic, strange person that people would want to stay away from. It's like harnessing your OCD. Harnessing my OCD. <laughs> That's a genius. I'm Joy Bryant, and I am a board sport enthusiast. I like to shred. And on my new show, Across the Board, I'm going to be shredding with the best of them. I want to shred, yeah. Yeah, I want to shred. Yeah, well, let's do it. My favorite friends, celebrities, athletes, artists. We're going to snowboard. We're going to surf. We're going to skateboard. We're going to have a great time. <laughs> well, we both, you know, we both came over, you know, went over some hurdles. A yeah. little obstacle awesome say. Yeah. You break through shyness, and uh, me. Break it through that snow. What? Tom, how's it going, Good, dude? How you doing? Good to see you, I, man. I don't know if you're gonna make it or not. No, I mean, 5 a.m. is tough. Oh, right what do we got right there? Shark, I see him right there. Oh, oh. all right, there, come on. This is the first one here. Yeah, be careful. Man. Yeah, you, know, you have a reputation of pissing people off. Like, your blog pisses people off. It, it pisses people off. I'm, uh, this face pisses people <laughs> off, you know? But, uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes, sometimes I get along. Did your dad, you know, was he on um, you constantly telling you how to do it since he was in the business? My dad was such a dick, because he'll always tell me I suck, and then when he's in front of other people, like, that's my son. That's my son. He's real good. Jim. Only on YouTube.